How deep is the ocean in reality? A whopping 94% of all life forms on Earth are aquatic. It sounds shocking and makes you, a land dweller, a small minority, doesn't it? At the same time, such a huge number of living beings who can't survive without water is understandable. After all, more than 70% of our planet's surface is covered with water. The World Ocean includes the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. There's enough water in the oceans to fill a 685-mile-long bathtub, and people have explored just 5% of this enormous water reservoir. This means that the other 95% is still hiding its secrets and tucking away its mysteries. One of the main nagging questions people have been asking for ages is, how deep is the ocean in reality? Subscribe to our channel and you'll get the answer not only to this, but also a lot of other questions. All the secrets are waiting to be revealed on the bright side of life. Have you clicked the red button? Great! Then let's get down to the very bottom of the world ocean. Our descent will be slow and steady. Otherwise, we may miss some milestones on the way. Sunlit Zone 14.5 feet is the depth of the standard Olympic diving pool with a 33-foot high diving platform. The submerged coastal remains of the Seven Pagodas of Mahalabipuram, a city in India, lie 26 feet below the surface of the water. At least that's what scientists believe. At a depth of 33 feet, scuba divers get their first martini. The compressed nitrogen, which divers have in their air tanks, leads to an effect similar to drinking one martini cocktail for every 33 feet of descent. 65 feet down and you will find shallow coral reefs, if you are diving in some tropical location, of course. You'll also get your second martini, which will lead to mild euphoria. At 100 feet underwater, in polar and temperate areas, there are kelp forests, some of the most dynamic and productive ecosystems on Earth. In addition, your third martini makes your responses delayed, but at the same time, you feel overconfident. 115 feet is the depth of a plunge pool under Niagara Falls, and that's almost two-thirds the height of the falls. 131 feet is the maximum depth that is allowed for recreational scuba diving. Besides, this is the depth of the deepest swimming pool in the world. Y40 is a diving pool situated in the four-star Hotel Monte Grotto Terme in Padua, Italy. This swimming pool is in the Guinness World Records. You can buy tickets at the hotel and enjoy free diving or scuba diving. 196 feet and you are drinking your sixth martini, which can lead to hallucinating at this point. Killer whales usually dwell at the same depth, and the normal operating depth of World War II U.S. submarines is just a tiny bit deeper. At 213 feet, Italian underwater cyclist Vittorio Innocente managed the deepest underwater cycling in the world in 2008. Having descended to 230 feet below the ocean surface, you'll encounter whale sharks, which are the largest fish species in existence. Your seventh martini might make you feel terror, or on the contrary, sleepiness. At a depth of 305 feet, you'll see the wreck of RMS Lusitania, which was sunk in 1915 11 miles off the coast of Ireland by a German U-boat. It took the ship just 18 minutes to sink to the seabed, taking 1,198 passengers and crew members along with it. By the way, if RMS Lusitania weren't lying flat on the bottom, she would be sticking out of the water because the length of this ship was 787 feet. 328 feet can be a fatal depth for divers who have failed to exercise caution. The reason is decompression sickness. It can occur if a diver starts to rise to the surface too quickly. In this case, the water pressure changes too rapidly, and as a result, nitrogen doesn't have enough time to clear from a person's blood or tissues. This leads to the appearance of nitrogen bubbles, which can damage the blood vessels and block blood flow. What's more, unlucky divers experience terrible joint pain, a common symptom which often makes people double over. Despite these potentially dire consequences, Herbert Nitsch managed to get as deep as 702 feet. The most amazing thing about this is the fact that the man was free diving. He descended there having taken just one single breath. At that depth of 328 feet, 
One more unique inhabitant of the ocean water spends its days, the giant Pacific octopus. This creature resembles the chameleon in its ability to change appearance to match rocks and corals. In fact, it's this octopus species, which can reach 20 feet in length, that inspired horror stories about sea monsters grabbing sailors off their ships. Some more food for thought. If you capture an octopus, it will amuse itself by shooting water at its targets. What if you happen to be a target for one of those 20-foot-long creatures? At 354 feet, you'll find K-141 Kursk, a Russian nuclear submarine. It sank in 2000 after something went terribly wrong during a naval exercise. A depth of 426 feet entered the Guinness World Records thanks to the deepest underwater wedding, which happened in Thailand. Diving instructor Hiroyuki Yoshida and Sandra Smith became spouses on September 30, 2013. At 591 feet, under the water's surface, RMS Carpathia found her last dwelling. This ship became famous after her participation in the rescue of the Titanic survivors. Unfortunately, a torpedo attack in 1918 sank this heroic ship. Twilight Zone At 656 feet, the Twilight Zone begins. That's where you can see the giant oarfish. Let's be honest, these less than beautiful creatures can grow as long as 35 feet and gain a weight of 600 pounds. When you look at the red rays that sprout on the dorsal fins of these snake-like fish and their bulging eyes, you might grasp the notion of sea monster. Let's get down to 984 feet. Oh no, there's no need to panic. It's just a Japanese spider crab. Well, admittedly, they can grow to be more than 12 feet long and weigh as much as 44 pounds. Yes, they can have a 13-foot wide leg span, and this makes it possible for them to tower over you if they feel like doing so. But all this might is mostly legs. As for the body of the crab, it's typically no larger than a foot and a half across. Hmm, perhaps this fact makes them, on the contrary, even more terrifying? What's your opinion? We'd love to know it. Tell us in the comments below. At 1,089 feet descent, and you'll reach the depth of the deepest scuba dive. Ahmed Gaber from Egypt accomplished it in 2014. You'll need to go 1,332 feet down to find the bottom of Lake Superior. This lake belongs to both Canada and the USA, and is the largest freshwater lake in the world, by its surface. At a depth of 1,453 feet, you could reach the height of the Empire State Building if somebody powerful enough decided to submerge it underwater. 1,640 feet is the deepest blue whales can dive. Blue whales are the largest and loudest animals on our planet. If you imagine an animal as tall as a 10-story building, that would be a vertically positioned blue whale. The longest blue whale ever recorded reached 108 feet. The tongue of this creature weighed as much as an elephant, and its heart was as heavy as a car. As for being loud, you can compare it for yourself. A jet engine makes a noise at 140 decibels. The call of a blue whale can reach 188 decibels. Their moans, groans, and pulses are heard by other whales at a distance of 1,000 miles. Kind of like the sound my dad made that one time I accidentally stepped on his foot. The 1,755 feet is as deep as the emperor penguin can dive. At this depth, the water pressure that a penguin, or a person, experiences is equal to the pressure a quarter feels when a polar bear is standing on it. The SOFAR channel, or deep sound channel, starts at a depth of 1,968 feet. This is a layer of water used by whales and submarines for long-distance sonic communication. 2,001 feet below the surface is the deepest a person in an ADS suit, atmospheric diving system suit, can dive. At a depth of 2,296 feet lives the European eel. This unfortunately critically endangered species can be found in Europe, and the eel can reach almost 5 feet in length. 2,723 feet is the height of the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. The giant squid lives as deep as 2,952 feet below the surface. Its eyes, being 10.5 inches across, are the size of frisbees that are filled with water, which leaks out of the squid dies. Females are 10 feet longer than males. By the way, 
The average length of this creature, due to deep sea gigantism, is about 40 feet. The suckers of this giant squid have serrated rings around them. When attacked by sperm whales, their main enemies, squids use them to leave huge circular wounds. Still, from 4.5 to 10 million giant squid get eaten every year by sperm whales. Midnight Zone The light coming from the surface doesn't reach this point, so you will see nothing but impenetrable darkness. On top of that, the water pressure you'd feel if you reach this point would be the same as you'd experience standing on the planet Venus. You'd be crushed almost immediately. At a depth of 3,608 feet, there's the deepest volcano recorded by scientists. That's West Mata in the Pacific Ocean. 3,937 feet is the depth where the so far channel ends. Deadly, ferocious, and unbelievably fast great white sharks, who can live longer than 70 years, feel great at a depth of 4,199 feet. And that's where most swimmers prefer that they stay. The same depth also witnesses the deepest reptile dives. These dives are performed by the largest living turtle species, the leatherback turtle. They're famous for the absence of a hard shell. 4,921 feet is the depth at which the catch-all industrial fishing method is used. That's when huge nets with heavy weights fastened to them are dragged along the seafloor to capture everything that hasn't been wise enough to get out of the way. 5,383 feet is the maximum depth of Lake Bacall, Russia, the largest, by volume, freshwater lake in the world. If you descend it even deeper, down to 5,997 feet, you'd reach the deepest part of the Grand Canyon if it was situated underwater. At 6,561 feet, you'd have a chance to come across the Black Dragonfish. And this wouldn't be a happy encounter. In fact, this dragonfish looks pretty much the same as the creature from the Alien movies. Luckily, due to some peculiarities of this living being, you wouldn't be able to spot it unless you used a flashlight. But it would be better not to. 7,381 feet is the deepest sperm whales can dive. These whales, also called cachalots, are the largest toothed whales, reaching 62 feet in length. A depth of 9,842 feet will reveal to you deep sea coral reefs. They can be found in all oceans. At a depth of 10,400 feet, the deepest offshore drilling happens. 12,073 feet is the average depth of the world ocean. 12,467 feet of water separate you from the wreck of RMS Titanic, a British passenger ship that collided with an iceberg in the Atlantic and sank in 1912. You might have heard of it. Just a bit lower, at 12,795 feet below the water surface, there are Air France Flight 447 black boxes. Airbus A3330 crashed into the Atlantic Ocean in 2009. The Abyss At a depth of 13,123 feet, the midnight zone ends and the abyss lies ahead. The first terrifying thing about this zone is the water pressure. It's a shocking 11,000 pounds per square inch. Can anything alive survive in such conditions? The answer is a confident yes. Numerous nightmarish and strange creatures inhabit these depths, including the viperfish, anglerfish, and fangtooth fish. Water at a depth of 15,091 feet is filled with various marine litter. Plastic and fishing nets are the most typical ocean pollutants. Get down to 16,305 feet and you'll see hydrothermal vents spewing hot water. These are sometimes called black smokers. 18,897 feet is the depth at which you can find the deepest shipwreck. SS Rio Grande sunk in 1941 in the South Atlantic and was discovered only in 1996. Trench Zone At a depth of 19,685 feet, the abyss ends and gives way to the trench zone. The water pressure at this depth is 1,100 times more than you feel at the surface of the ocean. This is the same pressure a person would feel if they had to carry about 50 Boeing 747 jumbo jets. If you somehow teleported to this depth with no outside protection, you would be crushed immediately. The ISIS underwater robot, 
which is used for scientific research, can reach a depth of 21,325 feet. At 26,738 feet, the deepest fish was observed alive. This was the snailfish seen in the Mariana Trench in 2014, 34,973 feet. That's the depth that xenophyophores, giant single-celled organisms that can grow up to 8 feet, find comfortable for life. In 2012, James Cameron, the producer of The Abyss and Titanic, went almost all the way down to the bottom of Challenger Deep, the deepest known place on Earth. In a small submarine, he descended to 35,754 feet below the ocean surface, describing the place as incredibly lonely and almost sterile. And the deepest point reached by humans was a depth of 35,813 feet. It happened in 1960, when Don Walsh and Jacques Picard descended to this incredible depth in their bathyscaphe, Trieste. They spent five hours descending to the necessary level. Unfortunately, they managed to spend only 20 minutes there. After that, one of the submarine windows cracked and the men decided to return. Let's move just a tiny bit further down. 36,000 feet is the average flight altitude of a commercial airplane. Have you ever looked down out of an airplane window? If you have, then you can imagine how unbelievably deep our oceans are. And eventually, at a depth of 36,070 feet, you will reach the very bottom of the ocean in its deepest point known to man, Challenger Deep. On the other hand, scientists and researchers believe that even this incredible depth isn't the deepest point of the ocean. The time will come when humankind discovers new Challenger Deeps. Who knows, maybe then the world ocean will decide to reveal some more of its mysteries. Do you agree? Hit the like button if you'd love to know more secrets of our planet's seas and oceans. And please, tell us in the comments below, would you dare go down to the bottom of the Mariana Trench?